Vela? Okay. Mm. Hi, hello everyone. Welcome back. So we're going to do another watercolor painting today. I hope everybody is uh, safe. Everyone is okay. So you might be thinking what we're going to draw. So we're going to draw a Barbie. Oh, I know some of you love Barbies. Yeah. So this is what we're going to draw. And I'll tell you what we can do to customize. You know, we can make some changes when we draw. Okay. So the materials um, I'm using are watercolor paper. I'm going to use this watercolor paper. You can use any thick drawing paper if you are using watercolors or paints. And we need a pencil, eraser, and Sharpie. If you want to outline, you can use a Sharpie. And we'll be using some round brushes today. I'm going to use these two brushes. One is really small, one is really small, the pointy tip. Sorry, this way. And other one is it's like a medium size brush number six. Okay, so I'm going to use these two brushes. So you can just take one small brush and one medium size brush. Round brush is good. Yeah, if you don't have round brush, you can take flat brush too. And we need a palette for mixing the colors. You can use watercolors, pan set, or watercolor tubes. If you don't have watercolor, you can use acrylic or else you can just color with color pencils or crayons, whatever you like, okay? So don't worry, you can just use any medium you love. First, we'll draw. So I'm going to connect it. So this is the paper. I'm going to take one paper out. Yeah. And I'll do in a medium speed. So if you're thinking this is too fast maybe you can just do it in your own speed and you can watch it later okay this video will be available after this live too i hope everybody is ready with the materials if you're ready we can start so i'm going to yeah okay so let's start the drawing and first you can leave a space at the top Maybe a uh, three finger space at the top. Just mark it. Okay, just mark a, a space at the top for this one. And I'm going to take six units for the proportion. That means so if you're taking three finger space for the head, I'm going to take six times all together. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, six units from the head. You can, you know, do it in your own, you know, proportion. That is okay. So this is a normal nine by twelve paper. So you can take three finger space for the head, something like this. So this is the space for the head. Okay, and I'm going to take this five more times. One, two. Three, four, five. So total we need six, okay? One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. One more. We'll make it big, long, tall, Barbie doll, okay? So six measurements from the head. One, two, three, four five six so we don't have space it's okay you can just draw this much that is fine all good so if you took the measurement we can start drawing and i will draw a little bit differently i'll draw a full dress this way i have this uh, another you know drawing I'll draw full dress, and if you want to make some changes, you can do it. That's why I do a different version this way. Okay, I will be drawing this one. So those who want to draw the legs, you can just look at this one. I'm going to keep everything away. Okay, ready? So we'll start with the head. We can draw an egg shape for the head. That means egg shape means a pointy at the tip. One side is a little bit pointy, right? Right? Yeah, this kind of shape. 
like a circle and a kind of triangle together actually yeah you can just draw an egg shape with a pointy chin if this shape is really difficult you can draw just oval okay this is really difficult just draw the oval shape for the head and i'm going to draw the neck with a rectangle shape Just a small rectangle when you look at this proportion, just yeah, maybe one finger space for the neck. Then I'm going to draw another straight line. Equal on both sides, okay? If this shoulder is longer, then that's strong. You have to make it equal because we are drawing the front view. Both side equal measurement. Yeah, a little bit bigger than one finger space. And now I'm going to draw the, you know, the torso. So we have to draw another line here after this mark, okay? One, two, yeah, this here, okay? Just a small line. So we have this measurements here, head, the next mark next mark so you know this mark right so it's coming between this these two marks okay if you want to know the measurement it is four finger yeah kind of four finger space from the shoulder to this line waistline yeah shweta if the egg shape for the head is uh, you know if it is really hard you can just go uh, with oval shape oval or circle both are okay oval is better and now i'm going to connect these two with two um, slanting lines diagonal lines you know the shape this is kind of trapezoid shape or a cup shape so this is the easy method okay So I just draw a cup shape for the body. I'm going to erase this extra part of that line. You just need this much. Like a small cup with a four finger space. And then I'm going to draw the big long dress. So we need to draw this till here, okay? So if your space is not enough, if you don't have this much space, you can adjust it according to your space. That's fine. I'm going to draw two curves from here and here. I mean, one from each side, okay? One big curved line for the dress. Same thing on the other side. Just draw the same type of line on the other side. Now, we're going to connect these two marks together. Oops, see, look at this, this, this kind of slightly different, right? So I'm going to correct it. Yeah, small radiations. So can you erase this part? And I'm going to erase all these marks. The measurements we did. This mark, erase everything, all these marks. Now we just got the outline of the head, body, and this big long dress. Now I'm going to connect these two ends together with a with kind of a curve. Yeah, it's okay. See, I have this mark here. So I'm adjusting a little bit, okay? Small, small variations are okay. So according to your space and you know um, shape, we can adjust it. done yeah now we have to add the hands so you can draw two way maybe you can just draw um this way so you don't need to draw the the you know hand the palms you can just draw this much and you can draw this hand this way on the waist yeah so another thing is you can draw this way 
So two options. First, I'm going to draw this sand. So it's going to start from here, from the waist to the shoulder. So just uh, add a small, you know, triangle-like shape. Shoulder, elbow, and the wrist. Now I'm going to draw this sand. So the sand is a straight line. So it's like two, you know, the same thing. Okay, one, two together. So it should be longer, this much. And then you can draw the hands with a small oval. I mean, all the fingers and palm together. This mark oval shape. Here you can draw a small oval, thin oval, and the, you know, the thumb separately. Yeah. And when we draw the, you know, Barbie, when we uh, see the Barbie, the fingers are sm a small variation. Okay. So I can add a tiny um, oval shape at the end. I'm going to make it a little bit closer to this one so you know how to draw it. Okay. So oval here, just a thin, really thin oval, another thin oval for the thumb, and a tiny oval at the end for all these fingers together, like this, kind of like this. Okay. This way. Same thing on the other side, you can see here. Thumb oval and a tiny oval okay now i'm going to go back so we got all the proportion everything now we're going to draw the details on the face hairstyle then we will you know add the details and the clothes okay I think this Barbie is a holiday Barbie right? because the clothes color is red. Yeah, I just took reference from Google. I just took it, the screenshot one image, and then I you know draw drew this one. But I made small changes. I think it's a Barbie doll, a holiday Barbie doll. Okay, ready. And for the head, I'm going to you know draw one straight line in the middle, exactly in the middle. Okay, I'm going to take this egg or oval in the middle not at the top not below exactly in the middle this is really important for the proportion otherwise you know the facial expression won't look nice ankita jane don't worry ankita you can you will get this video after this that means this video will be here available in our YouTube channel, so you can just watch it and draw anytime. So don't worry, Ankita. Okay. Now I'm going to divide this with a vertical line. So we're just cutting with one horizontal line and one vertical line. So the eyes will be on both sides here. One, two. So just adding dots, so you know the position of the eye. Then we can add the type of eye you like yeah if you don't want to draw this exact size uh, type of eye you can just draw some cute circle with a uh, you know tiny reflections and all yeah you know what i'm talking about right yeah then the nose is just below this one with a small l shape just a tiny l here you can see So some of you are late, that's okay. I know some of you are really late. It's okay, you can watch the video, replay, and then complete it. So we just mark the eye, nose with L shape. Then we're going to draw the lips. See, I'm drawing a straight line, a tiny straight line, and another straight line below. So two lines together, just really small, okay? And I'm keeping my finger here, you can see how small it is really really small for the head size yeah. and i'm going to connect these two ends together like this 
and then when we paint we will use some red color and then it will look like nice round smiling face like this okay i'll make it a little bit bigger on a rough paper rough paper so you know what i'm talking about see i just draw the lips with a straight line at the top and a small line at the bottom and then i connected these two ends together so it will look like this but when we paint you'll get the shape of the the lips the smiling face okay so this is the shape i did but it is close together and really really small okay yeah that is enough you don't you, you don't need to draw this exact lip shape or anything that is enough for simple drawing and don't forget to add the eyebrow just leave a little gap and add a curve for the eyebrow I think this uh, tiny dot looks good for the eye. What do you think? I think that is good. Yeah, those who want to draw uh, in a nice different shape eye, I'll show you here, okay? So on that eye dot, we can draw this kind of shape, then add this shape, okay? This way, and then don't forget the eyelashes for her. This, you know, it's a doll, so, it's like artificial eyelashes so you have to draw these kind of lines if you are drawing the eye both side but i'm just going with this tiny dot because it's really small for my paper so i'm not drawing this details but those who want this dot a detail just look at this one and draw like a leaf shape circle and a tiny dot inside with, the, with some eyelashes longer eyelashes here and short ones closer to this middle part that is okay. So this tiny dot is okay, I think. Then if I'm going faster, just tell me slow down a little bit. And now we have to draw the hair. Yeah, we can draw hair from here, just about this. I just mark this position and you can draw a slanting line this way and another slanting line to the this line okay just look at this this is the straight line in the middle horizontal line so it's from here till here okay you can use a curve or straight lines so it's almost touching the eyebrow above here too you have to draw another line to this horizontal line okay hope we got the proportions correctly now we need to add some extra details like uh, you don't need to add ear or anything maybe you can add some big long you know earrings something like this yeah you don't need to draw ears just earrings any type of earrings okay and some hair long wavy hair with some curls on the side yeah, maybe you can add more if you want. I think this is also fine. So I'm making everything simple, okay? So everyone can draw, but you have the freedom to, you know, customize it. You can just add your own details. If you like a different style, you can do it. Done. Yeah. So I hope everybody finished the head details on the head. Now we're going to add the details on the body, clothes, hands, all that things. Okay. Now I'm going to make it like this so you can see the whole thing yeah ready okay so now we can add one more line for the arms that means i'm going to add the same type of line just below it it's a very thin rectangle like shape for the arm one line below it and one line inside this 
15 arms and one line here just below this line it's kind of wider here and it's getting really thin at the end yeah it's just small rectangle like shape for the arms yeah I'll finish all the difficult part now we can add the you know details on the clothes so it's style the style of the dress so first I'm going to add a rectangle or no triangle like shape or like a ribbon kind of shape here from the shoulder okay then you can add few more lines one line from the shoulder to this part and then maybe few more lines for the that you know pleats and when we do watercolor or when we do add layers when we paint so we need to add some darker tone so for that i'm adding few lines here here okay one or two lines in the middle of this uh, ribbon like shape And from here, from the waist, here on this line, I'm going to add another line and a straight line. One, both sides. Two. So this will be one color, single color. This uh, this area has some patterns. Maybe you can add flowers or stripes, diagonal or straight lines, anything, okay? Uh, here I have, you know, two ribbons are there so if you want you can add one more ribbon on the side same repetition of all these details so we have completed the drawing okay now you can take your sharpie and add the details and outline the whole thing and don't forget to erase the overlapping lines that means this line in the side any other line yeah if you want to make small small changes you can do it especially for the shoulder and neck you can add a curve instead of that pointy uh, you know joint kind of shoulder here right all these small things you can add maybe you can add make you can make more curls for the hair like this yeah and i told you i those who like to add eye you can draw this way like normal eye like this kind of shape with a half circle in the center with a tiny dark dot in the center and eyelashes tiny eyelashes in the middle longer one on the side yeah and as you know this drawing is really small the head size is really small so that's why i'm not adding anything in this drawing and i'm going to raise these lines in the face the straight lines the face now we are ready for outlining this is completely optional if you have a sharpie or a permanent marker or any permanent pen you can outline just check your pen which is permanent ink or permanent marker you can use it thicker or thin anything is fine thin is better because really small details if you, have, if you don't have this just darken the that with pencil because you know it will blend with the paint so we'll do the outline then we'll start painting okay and don't worry you will get all these video here in our youtube channel so you can watch any time and complete it maybe you can simply watch now and you can complete it later that is also okay and Please uh, put your questions in the chat so I can answer. And also, if you want to draw something in future, you can just give me some, you know, suggestions too. So this one I got from Nainika, my student. She loves Barbie dolls. So I just thought, okay, we'll draw a Barbie doll today. If you like to draw something else, yeah, you can just put it in the comment. Yeah, we can pick that. 
yeah, in future. Yeah. And I'll uh, add these details, like patterns and all with, with paint, okay? I'm not going to draw the pattern. I will paint it directly. Yeah, but you can add patterns with the pen too, it's fine. Just finish the outline or just start darken the lines then be ready for the painting you can add glitters or sequence anything you want Kingle, i think we can announce all the details now so they can finish their outlining part then we will start painting yeah um Can you see it? Yes, I can see. Okay. So, yeah, we have our March um, classes and we only have two days left. And we have live class video and videos only. So, if you want to enroll now, we have only two days. So, um, you can join our March class. And we also have, can you also see my other screen? Um, yeah, no. I can see. Uh, I can see the details, the slides. I mean, the website. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, we only have two days left. So if you want to join our March class, hurry and roll now, so you can you know join the painting class. And also, we have our video lessons in our academy. Go to Nimis Art uh, Academy. That Art dot com. And you can see all the details there. Um, let me share. Here. So we have little artists and young artists. So little artists is for five to seven years. And young artists is for eight to 12 years. We have 100 plus videos in each uh, age group. And we also have four new videos every month. And yeah. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, thank you. And, oh, I forgot. We also have mm -hmm. upcoming free art class for March 12. So I will send links for that. So you can join. It's free. So that's in Zoom, right? Zoom. Yeah, that's in Zoom. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay, uh, I have a question here from Seema. So how to do this one? I think uh, how to do this you know, leg and maybe this part, right? I'll show you this one. Yeah, if you have any questions, just put that in the chat. So if something is simple, we can quickly discuss that. So I will show you how to draw. Where's my friend? Yeah. See, if you're asking this one, see, we did this um, dress this way, right? Both sides. Yeah. And you don't need to close the shape. You can just keep this way and draw another line from here yeah this one and close the ends of these part both sides and here you can add another line whatever the length maybe half then draw the legs with two triangle like shape okay that means thick and thin thick at the top and thin at the bottom then we will add the shoes it's really style right i mean beautiful shoes right so you can start from here first triangle like shape here see when you draw this leg you should make sure this is kind of making sense with the uh, the proportion so this is the way so it should start from here you know we are not drawing this line but make sure this is kind of making sense you know when we draw the leg otherwise it won't look normal okay so the leg always starts from the waist, so kind of really thin at the end. We'll draw only this much, this much. We'll not draw this one, but it should be connected to the waist. First one, then draw the, um, maybe you can draw a rectangle-like shape here. And with a tiny pointy end, 
again, that is also kind of triangle, right? Same thing, it should be starting from the waist. So go here, just draw the whole thing and then you can erase the, the lines that is not needed. So it's starting from the waist. Okay, stop here, so it's behind it. So it should be a little bit smaller. So if something is behind it, it will look tiny bit smaller according to the perspective. Yeah, this much. And then start the next rectangle shape. Yeah, kind of rounded rectangle for the shoes. Then the point D triangle shape. Almost same size. Again, you have to draw the other end of this line. Same width. So this will go like this. Yeah. And we'll not draw any of this line. Here we'll erase everything. I'm just drawing that line, you know, then you should understand where to start these things. And which is which is in the front, this one, right? So you have, you have to raise this line. Now we got the shape of the legs. Let's make it correct. And then add the lines, maybe one line here. One line here, see? When you draw the shoes, just add one line. Then these patterns, I mean, this flap, the top part of the shoes. One more line, one, two, two rectangle-like shape, okay? So that is good, very good. That's easy, right? Yeah. So this is the way we have to draw the legs, okay? Always, uh, you know, make sure this is kind of starting from this point. That angle should be correct. Then you, you can add all these patterns and uh, this will, you know, cover the back part of the, you know, legs here, right? So you have to draw another line here. So this will be darker when we paint. Same color, but darker. You can see that here. It's crimson red. I use this darker crimson red here. Yeah, simple. Thank you for that question. This is a really good question. So now we're going to start paint painting. And I'll tell the colors that I'm going to use. You can change if you want, you can change it, no problem. So are all my suggestions, not the rules. Yeah, and I'm going to take yellow ochre for the face. Let's take, this. I'm going to take this color, but very lightly for the skin tone, yellow ochre, okay? Lighter uh, yellow ochre. Then I will add some vermilion red for the you know sides and this pink cheeks, this color. Okay, then for the dress, I'll take crimson red. And if I want to make this crimson red darker, I will add some blue, any blue, maybe this blue. That means I'm making a little bit purplish red for the darker tone. So just simple, I'm just using only four colors in this one. Yeah, for the hair, yeah, hair, yeah, we'll discuss that later. Okay. And hair is really simple. You can use any color for the hair. Let's finish the skin tone and close, and then we will paint the hair. And if you're using pencil or crayons, color neatly. Just use even direction for coloring. I'm erasing all these pencil lines, okay? Because watercolors are really thin, you know, translucent kind of colors, right? So all these pencil marks will see through this color. So that's why I'm erasing all these pencil lines. Okay, good. So let's take your medium size brush, brush number six or four. Dip your brush in the water, take yellow ochre. If you don't have yellow ochre, you can take brown very lightly. Brown color is good. And add water really light tone so just make it really light by adding more water see i'm just uh, telling the rules of this watercolor thing okay if you're using acrylic then you have to add white paint that is the difference so if you're using acrylic or some okay colors use white and make it lighter if you're using watercolor just add water make it lighter like a light yellowish beige tone this way Okay, I'm going to use this for all the skin area. 
case, neck, see I'm not painting the lips. That's, that's actually teeth, she's smiling, right? So I'm not painting the teeth. I'm just painting the face, neck, arms. So you can use this style for all these fashion illustration. If you like to draw some, you know, beautiful clothes, especially when you're a fashion designer, if you like fashion illustration, you can use the same style. So paint all these skin area. Then wait for that color to dry. Just wait one or two minutes, okay? Shweta, I think you are telling about beauty and beast, right? <laughs> I like the discussion going on. It is nice. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah. So just wait when you finish this. Wash your brush and take the smallest brush. This is brush number four, but you can take brush number two or zero. Smaller brush, okay? Now we're going to paint that pink cheek. Actually, this is red. We'll make it lighter, okay? Just take your vermilion red or any orangish kind of red, this one. Okay, vermilion red or something like a, you know, orangish warm red. So just take your small brush, dip your brush in the water. Just take a little bit of vermilion to your palette. Just a tiny bit this is enough because it's going to be really, really light. Look at that. It's just a small portion there, right? So I just took this much vermilion red and I'm going to add more water and always test on a paper. This is going to be really light. Look at this. It's very dark. I don't want this dark color there. So I'm going to add more water. I'm going to wash my brush. I'm taking the paint again. Let's take that. Okay, this is kind of lighter. This is okay. Something really pale, like a peach kind of tone, okay? Yeah. I like this, this color. So this is vermilion red or some warm red with lots of water. And this is for the cheeks. Just a tiny oval on the cheek. Can you see that? It's really small oval closer to the, you know, eye. Let me keep it close. I can see the detail. So I have some cold. That's why the sound is a little different. Yeah. So pink cheek. Just a tiny oval for the cheek. Both right. And you can give an outline for the face, just a thin outline for the face. Very light, really thin outline. Yeah, I'm going to use this for outlining the neck. Outlining the arms. Using the tip of the brush, okay? And this is completely optional. If you don't want to outline the, the you know, arms, you can skip the step. It's okay. I don't want you to do, you know, messing up things. Just make it simple. So I just outlined face, neck, and arms with vermilion red. Very light tone of vermilion red. Okay. Uh, you can even uh, give a nice shadow. Those who like to add some eye shadow, you can just do one line above the eye. See, that's giving shape to the eye. Really, really light. But the lips, the lip color is darker. So I'm going to use the same color, but very dark. That means I'm taking more paint, less water. We need a red color for the lips. Just outline the lips like this. 
okay outside very thin line outside that sharpie line this way red color same red a little bit darker outline the first line side lower line now look at that she's smiling now yeah <laughs> so that's done now we can paint the clothes take your favorite color if you don't want to paint this with crimson red you can take your favorite color if you can mix and make a new color we can use rainbow colors yeah all the colors together it will be pretty so I'm going to use my medium sized brush with crimson red. Okay. Crimson red means dark red. This red color. But you can choose your color. Maybe you can mix a new color. We'll take all the colors together like a rainbow. And I'm adding some water into the palette. Let me just show you the colors. So this is the color I'm taking, crimson red with a little bit of water. This way. Good. This is medium sized round brush. Brush number six. First I'm painting this ribbon, I mean this bow. And if you want, you can leave a space, a little bit of space here and there, just to show the shining quality of the material. Could leave a little gap here and there when we do watercolor painting. Because we are not using white, we are just using the paper white, the color of the paper. Just leave some lines here and there so it will look very shiny. So just a few lines. And the brush is moving really smoothly. So I'm adding enough water for watercolor. Your brush is really hard. If it is not moving smoothly, then add more water. Okay. Yeah, now I'm going to add some patterns. I'm going to add some stripes. Yeah, you can add stripes or dots heart shape I'm going to do stripes this way some thin line some thick line with the same brush if you press you will get thick line if you do smoothly very softly you will get thin line I'm going to add one more line here again I'm going to continue with a small thin line Again, thick line. Yeah. Just start the patterns you like. Any designs or patterns on the clothes. Thin line. Thick line. And thin line. So this is easy, right? You like, and if it is really difficult to draw with the brush, you can mark it with your pencil. Then you can outline that mouse. Just thick, thin. So we're getting a lot of suggestions, right, Twinkle? <laughs> For the drawing. Yeah, beauty and beast. Anything else? Seeds. We have one. Um <laughs> I think it's uh army tank. <laughs> oh, okay. I have to figure yeah. it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. From um, Somia. Somia. Okay. Somia. Somia. Yeah. So
and almost done yeah so we finished the patterns now we're going to add colors yeah you can change the color if you want okay if you don't want to repeat this color for everything maybe you can change it take some green or blue or purple any color you like okay yeah i'm going to go with the same color don't want to complicate things simple things are always beautiful right yeah but it's up to you if you enjoy taking more color you can take it so here i'm adding the same color see look at this if something is bigger area i'm going to press see you can just see i'm using the side of the brush if i'm painting a bigger area see i'm just pressing so i can cover the area easily this way if it is really small thin area then i will not press the tip of the brush just i will use the brush gently so i will get thin lines i'm just showing you okay so these round brushes are really really useful and i'm painting this much and i'm taking another brush with a clean water put to spread a little bit okay so i'm getting a gradient from dark to light like this same thing i'm going to use this crimson red bending this area this much half okay i'll paint this crimson red this much and i'm taking another clean brush oh, yeah it's also a round brush okay i'm dipping brush my in my water so I have clean water in my brush. I'm going to spread this paint so I'll get a nice gradient with a with the same color, light to dark. Yeah. So that's it. So we finished one layer for all that you know areas. If you want, you can add one more layer like shadows and darker tones. Same color one more time just for adding the lines closer to the border same color okay just one more time so this is called layering so we will get some shadow areas some dark tones with the same color yeah here this wet so i'm not doing now so this is a very simple painting right so nothing is complicated so we can you know simply enjoy and paint now let's take the color for the i mean um hair so we can take light brown or we can just take same yellow ochre the yellow ochre we took for the hair color i mean skin tone right yeah i'm going to take yellow ochre same color but in a darker tone I mean more paint less water same color that it's going to be a little bit darker and i leave some area when i paint especially here for some highlights you can see that here on the side some thin lines there so when I'm painting, I'll go with this kind of line and I'll leave some space in the middle. Only in the middle, okay? Just for that shiny thing of the hair. Here, I'm just leaving a tiny gap in the middle. And I'm going to paint this entire area with this yellow ochre. What color I'm using? Yellow ochre. We can use yellow ochre or light brown or black or dark brown, any color you like. Then I will add some brown lines to show the darker shadows on the hair. Yeah, that I'll do later. Now it is wet, it will spread into everything. So I'm not doing it now. I'm going to wait for a few minutes. So by the time, if you want to draw some pattern so if you want to add some second layer here you can do that so just maybe you can add some accessories like bangles or chain for her hand yeah anything is 
So I'm going to add some lines here so it will look like nice wrist chain or something. Some watch. Maybe you can add some chain, choker. Yeah. See that red spread into here. Here you can see this kind of blending. Yeah. So that can happen when you do watercolor. So don't try to correct or anything, okay? Just leave that mistake there. Don't, you know, correct it. And maybe you can add some, some shadow with a lighter blue color. Yeah, it is not there in this one. And anyway i'm waiting right i'm waiting for this layer to dry so i'm going to do some light blue shadow for this door very light you can work on the background details you can add one more bobby yeah whatever you like yeah i think this area is dry so i'm going to add a few more lines there so just manage your time when you do watercolor. Just, just wait. That hair is still drying. So by that time, it's time to do some more details on the side. Just a few lines. Like this. Oops. See, look at that. Some splashes. Red splashes. See, all this mistake will happen when we do watercolor. Don't try to correct it now. Maybe we can make something else to cover that mistake or just leave that way. It's fine. This line can continue on the side. Just one line. Yep. Okay, this brown is almost dry. So take a small brush and add some brown lines like, you know, outlines and details on the hair. Light brown or dark brown? I'm using light brown. Just adding some lines here. Outlining and few lines. Here. This is also with brown color. Light brown. Few lines here and there. Yeah, that's it. Done. You can use glitters or shiny, you know, things to decorate the whole thing. You can use mixed media, pearl paint, everything, okay? Because it's just a fancy drawing, right? So make it pretty. Ooh, Sonia, you're ahead of me. Good, that is good. So make a spotlight or something, whatever comes to your mind, okay? For the background. So I'm stopping here. My drawing is complete. I hope you like this one. So this is yes. Maybe I can do some eyelashes with this. See, I'm getting a lot of ideas when I'm seeing. So I'm going to add one line, two lines for the eyelashes. And it is not looking like wabi eye, but you know, I like this. So twinkle I have completed it, so we'll just um you know, maybe something announced announcement we can do that. Yeah. Um I think we don't have any questions. Okay. And Samia. <laughs> yeah. You, she said she's ahead, so that's great. Yeah. Yeah. And I put the link on the chat about the live class and the video lessons. If you want to enroll, if you want to uh join our March classes, we only have two days left for the enrollment. So join us and we will have fun inside with Miss Nimi. We draw a lot of things like animals, um, this one, like portrait, princesses, and all the suggestions that kids, you know, will love. So, yep. And then March 19 will be our free Zoom art class. So that's free. You can join anytime. We will do that link and send the link maybe um later or yeah later 
this weekend. Yeah, and um, all these materials, uh, you know, things you, you can see in the description. Uh, Twinkle, we will be adding mm -hmm. that, right? Yeah, yeah, so yeah you can that's find right. all the materials that I'm using in this class. Yeah, and we will be doing more uh, mediums, different mediums and different topics. Yeah, thank you for all your suggestions. And we'll be picking <laughs> some of them, okay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is awesome. Yeah. And I have a question for you. If anybody here who loves Pokemon, so which which Pokemon you like to draw? Because we already did one Pokemon with the yellow. I don't know the names actually. With the yellow thing and with the you know that uh, what is it called? Lightning mark and also if if you are a Pokemon mm. lover, which one you love to draw? Yeah, I just want to know because National Pokemon Day is coming. Something like that is coming, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. 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 Let me see. Yeah. Just, um, uh, I remember this one Pokemon. It's pink yeah, color. Yeah, did one actually with the pencils. Yeah, that's in our academy actually. Yeah. Okay, we'll do that one. Yeah, maybe you can put any suggestions of Pokemon characters and we will pick that for our drawing yeah yeah one, yeah one day so this one we already did okay i don't know the name of this character yeah that's yeah. pokemon <laughs> yeah so this one and there yeah. are different names like you know uh, like toto is type of different you know so <laughs> yeah <laughs> so all these things so this is a video is already available in the academy if you are a student you will you can see that okay it's eight by uh, eight to twelve years section pencil drawing actually yeah that, oh that's uh pikachu yeah Pikachu. Oh, sorry yes, i yes, forgot yes. <laughs> yeah so thank you guys so just uh give more suggestions so thank you for you know coming and you know um we can, we can do pink that. yeah <laughs> what's evie yeah evie um, is that the pokemon character evie i'll search evie. that one yeah <laughs> thank you okay this is so classic like bring brings back memories like childhood memories yeah. so okay how about drawing contest hmm so we'll be drawing uh, doing <laughs> drawing contest during holidays you know christmas time. yeah it's, it's holidays holiday. yeah very cute thank you sheila and don't forget to post your finished painting in our Facebook group if you are Nimis Art student. So post there. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Okay. We'll see you next time, okay? With another yeah. drawing. Yeah, thank you for joining. Thank you, Twinkle. Thank you, Nimi. Thank you so much.